Hello everyone, Sam here from Super Nerds Gaming and we are looking at some Sonic posters here which is a bit obvious but it's what these Sonic posters have on the back so you used to get these posters in with your Mega Drive games not every Mega Drive game would have them but a lot would have them and the kind of hidden edge of that is the good news to promote other games as well so as we flip these over now you can see the multitude of games, uh, consoles from Sega, everything that is on them. And we're going to be going looking through this today. So from here on in, I am going by hand on this to uh, show you what's on there. Because it's just with the size of the posters, it's very hard to kind of get to grips with it and see what it has. So we're starting off with the original Sonic the Hedgehog 1 poster. And as you can see, there's some absolute classics on here. And right in the middle, we've got action, shooting, driving, sports, RPG, simulation, puzzle. Basically just showing that the Mega Drive had a multitude of different kind of games. Now we've got the Mega Drive itself here. The world's first dedicated 16-bit computer game for home use. And that looks fantastic. I always loved the Mega Drive 1. It's just a fantastic machine. And then there, we've got the Master System Converter there for playing Master System software on the Mega Drive. I'm still after one of these, but with having a Master System myself, it's not essential for me. And we have the Arcade Power Stick. Play games with arcade, arcade style control. I actually had the chance to get one of these a long time ago. And I passed it up stupidly. I really did. I really gutted about that. So let's get over to here to the action side of things. And we are starting off with Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously. Uh, Quackshot, which is absolutely fantastic game. Golden Axe 2. Uh, Streets of Rage. Alien Storm. Decap the Attack, which is a fantastic game. I only own it, cart only. But it is really good. Fantasia. Yeah, it's not that great. I own it because I picked it up. I did like a swap years ago with so, with a game in the Retro Dojo. I think it was a Pokemon game. So I got a few games back and I was like, since I'm not paying money, I'll pay. I'll pick up Fantasia. Mix. Ghost and, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Sorry, nearly said it wrong. Spider-Man. Strider. Fatal Labyrinth. Flicky. Bonanza Brothers. Monster Layer. Dick Tracy, Rambo Free, Dynamite Duke, E SWAT, Mystic Defenders, Last Battle, and Alex Kidd, Enchanted Castle. So we'll just over here to the shooting and going straight from here, we've got Burning Force. Um I Ganon or something. I don't know. I don't know how you'd say that one. Please correct me because I don't know how to say that one. I butcher saying anything anyway. So I was always going to do that one bad. Hellfire. Phileos is that. Um, Arrow Flash. Twin Hawk. Afterburner. Forgotten Worlds. And Thunder Force 2. So moving down to the driving. There is only actually three driving titles here. And it is Outrun. Super Monaco GP and Super Hang On. So this might just be a sign of how early on this poster was developed in the Meg Drive's life. Because it's got way more than just free driving games. Now we have sports. We've got California Games, World Cup Italia 90, Wrestle, Wrestle War, Arnold Palmer Tournament Golf, Joe Montana Football, James Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing, Super Real Basketball, Cyberball, which I own twice now. So this is a game I had as a kid and I just didn't like it at all. But I thought it was really cool. So I had to buy it again when I was rebuilding my collection. And yeah, it's it's cool. I think the Japanese cover for it is just so much better. Super League. Right, we go over to Puzzle and this is even smaller than the driving section. It's literally two items. It's columns and zoom. I have columns. I don't have zoom. So I'm not too sure what that is like. So we'll go over to simulation. Which is 688 attack sub. Herzog Z. Zoo. Oh, fucking hell. 
and really a struggle saying this. I've got this game and all. I am. Um, I bought this game off a friend off Twitter ages ago. He was selling his Meg Drive collection. Here's Og Zool. I'm going to say that. Yeah, I think I've got that right. And Abrams Tank. And then lastly, on this bottom section, we have the RPG section, which is Super High Dell, Fancy Star 3, Sword, Sword of a Million, and Shannon in the Darkness. So there is a really good range of games there, but... Looking from some of their ones off the offshoots, especially puzzle driving RPG and that, the the this must have been really on in the Meg Drive's life because it just had such so many good stuff. So we move over to the Sonic Spinball poster, which um has got a plethora of games. But what you notice is there's a bit of colour code into this. So you've got like this purplish blue here, the orange and the green here. If you go all the way down, you'll notice the linked to these. So the purplish blue is linked to the Game Gear and that has its Master System Converter 2 there and 4 player adapter. I actually have that 4 player adapter. Um, I'm not too sure if it looks exactly the same, but I've got it. Uh, if we look at the Game Gear, we've got Daffy Duck in Hollywood, which is coming soon. Uh, De De Desert Speed Strike. Uh, Desert Speed Trap coming soon. We've got X-Men, Echo the Dolphin, Sonic Chaos, a fantastic game, and Jungle Book. And Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which is like one of my favourite puzzle games. More on the Mega Drive than the Game Gear, but it's still brilliant. So we link all the way back down here to the Meg Drive and it's got the Menacer. It's still something I don't have and I need to get. And again, the Arcade Power Stick 2. So this is different from the Power Stick 1, which is there, if you can see it. And then we go over here and you can see the difference there. So going on, we've got Body Count, which is a very high priced game these days. Asterix, Star Trek, I don't have that one. I need to get it. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. I do have a few Star Trek games, but I don't have that. I have like uh, DS9, Crossroads, Landstalker. A buddy of mine tells me how good that game is all the time, and I'm yet to crack on with it. Jurassic Park, love it. Shinobi 3, Eternal Champions, fantastic fighting game. Ultimate Soccer, uh, Toe Jam and Ale 2, brilliant game. Doctor Doctor Robotnik's Beam Beam. Yeah, I can't even talk. Sorry, Doctor Robotnik's Mean Beam Machine, which is great. Sonic Spinball, Aladdin, and Pebble Beach. Now we scroll all the way down here, and it is the big push on the Mega CD. So we've got a six-button controller and infrared controllers. I would love to own one of them infrared controllers, but I never see them knocking around really. So the games we've got is the fantastic Sonic CD. Night Trap, which is well renowned, Jurassic Park, Sylphid, Sewer Shark, Sherlock Holmes, Batman Returns, which I'd love to get because the driving sequence is meant to be fantastic, NXS, and Echo the Dolphin. So they are the games that were previewed on these two Sega posters. Let me know if you have any of these and if there's different stuff on them. Definitely would love to know that. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you next time.